Hello, welcome to another Read, Eat, Grow. My name is Wayne Daly with Huff Reads. Today we're going to read a musical story about Miguel and the Grand Harmony, written by a Newbery Medal winner, Matt De La Pena, illustrated by Ana Ramirez. This story is about a tale of a boy finding music and music finding him. First comes the sound, a single string plucked, or a note blown, or beat wrapped. And suddenly, I am where the music is. There is color, and there is color, there is life. I roam this vibrant city determined to keep the gray at bay. La Musica, I hear the hearts beckon. We need you to create a grand harmony. I need them too. Here, I am tucked inside the buzz of wedding bells. The band shifting into ballad and every hand linked around the glowing bride and groom. Here, I'm at a packed Pueblo Quinciera, swaying along with a staticky song. A fresh-faced girl lifts a tiara onto her head. Here, I am huddled over an open cemetery plot, breathing life into the quiet reflections of loved ones and the weeping beauty of a single violin. Today, I fall upon a trio of musicals turning their instruments. They laugh from their bellies and wave to passerbys to shoo away a stray dog. Our fourth musical steps to a trash bin holding a busted guitar. She was good to me, he says, until you sat on her. His friend replies, more laughter as the man tosses the ruined instrument and returns to his crate. <laughs> He thumbs the nylon strings of a new guitar, and I ride the rhythms across the plaza. By sundown, the alleyways are packed with people, and I leap from song to song. On warm nights like this, I am the city, and the city is me. But just as my surge of sound is lifting towards the twilight, An old woman barges out of a shoe shop. Stop that music, she shouts. You'll upset Mama Coco. A startled guitar player fumbles for his favorite hat. A trumpeter hurrying, hurrying, hurrying to put away his instrument knocks over a box of Mitch Mac nails. Before I am sucked back into nothingness, I notice a boy. He holds a broom in one hand, a dustpan in the other, and while everyone else is in the shop, is busy waving Los Musicals, the boy's eyes are glued to their guitars. The music in his heart, 
he turns to look at me, but I'm already lost into a colorless void. The following morning, I rise with the crowing roosters and race from place to place. But all day, my thoughts keep returning to the boy. I abandon a flock of songbirds to follow the thudding paws of a trotting dog. Halfway down the alley, I pause to peer inside the window of a shoe shop, but the boy isn't there. I sigh and watch his family busily making shoes. There is a kind of harmony about their rhythmic work and are doing what they love. I'm about to retreat into the whistling wind when I hear a faint rustling coming from above. I climb these subtle sounds like a rope up to the roof where I discover a secret attic. Inside, the boy is moving around the antenna of a tiny TV. I redirect his radio waves so that an old musical performance comes in clearly. The boy stares transfixed. Then he pops a tape into an old VCR and hits record. He picks up his broom and holds it like a guitar, moving his fingers along invisible frets. When the song ends, the crowd begins to cheer. The boy rewinds back the music. Miguel, a man calls out from below. Ya vente comer. The boy stops the tape and covers the TV and hurries out of the attic for dinner. The following day, I trail him into the plaza where a band of street musicians is performing. Dante Vamos, he calls to his dog and the two men and the two of them wiggle their way to the front. This close to the music, the boy's face comes alive. He belongs to the sound. But just as my, but just as I'm about to whisper my name into his ear, his ambulita, ambulita appears. Ambulita. She shoes away the stray and pulls the boy back through the crowd by his elbow. Mijo, stay away from the marchi, mariachis, she tells him. <clears throat> I know, but do you want to come up? Do you want to upset Mama Coco? He shakes his head and follows her back into their shop. Sometimes the whole world can seem like a misplayed note. Sometimes colors fade and smear. Sometimes the whole world can seem like a misplayed note. Sometimes colors fade and smear. I sulk inside a nearby cafe where an old man plucks my sadness on a tired requinto. I remember another boy from a long ago. He used to sit alone and write songs long into the night. And when he became a man, I sang lullabies to his baby girl. I never forget the bright colors imitating, emanating from their eyes. That is the way 
That is why I am here. I picture the boy from the shoe shop again. La Musica exits in the hearts of humans. If I can't lead this child to his passion, then what is my purpose? I pulled out my thoughts by the stray dog who's sniffing around the floor by my feet. That's when it occurs to me. I don't have to do this alone. I bend to whisper a new plan into Dante's ear. The next morning is crisp and cloudless and smells of destiny. As soon as Dante senses my present, he tears the broom out of the boy's hands and takes off. He races through the alleys, into the plaza, and up to the trash bin, where he barks and howls and paws at the side. Dante, the boy shouts, out of breath, what's wrong? And then he sees it. <laughs> During his shift at the shoe shop that night, I wrap my arms around a pair of crackling katoras until the boy comes out to investigate. The birds scurry, but not before the boy has discovered scattered nails. He slips them into his pocket, sensing he's not alone. Over the next several days, I track a light hammering back up to the attic where the boy is repairing the guitar. When he finally gets it fixed, he flips on the video and maneuvers his fing fingers like the famous singer. <laughs> that weekend, the boy sneaks his stringless guitar past the shoe shop and heads for the plaza. He sits on an empty bench beside Dante and dreams of performing for a crowd. It takes all my strength to summon a great gust of wind that whips a musical hat right off his head. The man gives chase. All through the crowded plaza they go, until he crashes into the boy. El Musical studies the familiar guitar. He studies the boy. Then he reaches into the bag and hands over his last set of strings. Play what's in your heart, he says. The boy nods and looks down at the strings. All he can see is his family. Before going to bed that night, he strings his repaired guitar and tunes it and positions his fingers along the fretboard. He glances down at Dante, then looks up at his homemade ofrenda, his heart thump, thump, thumping inside his chest. He takes a deep breath and strums his fingers gently across the nylon strings. The boy doesn't know that in the ring of his first chord, he has become part of a grand harmony. But here it is in the swirling skies above the attic. And here it is in the wind whistling past the windows of the shoe shop.
And here it is in the warm expression of his mama's Coco's face. One day these sounds may grow into songs and color the hearts of others. But for now he's just a boy in an attic with a guitar and the air he breathes is alive. That's our story for the day. My name is Wayne Daly with Huff Reads. And remember to read, eat, grow.